in the first video lesson that we did on compound interest, we had a look at this particular question. $6,000 is invested for three years at 5% and the interest is compounded yearly. And the table that I gave at the end of that video lesson is shown below here. Now, the um, important thing that we need to look at in this lesson is that there is another way to actually do this and it's a much better way to understand it or even to just do it uh, more quickly. So let's have a look at this one. Um, if we're going to have a look at calculating the um, balance each year, let's take the first year and write it out like this, that the balance at the end of the first year So at the end of year one is, now this is the important thing, it's the principal, that's the amount of money that we invested, in this case $6,000, plus the interest, that's 5% of the principal. All right, now if we understand that, then we can say that all of the principal is 100% of it. So we could say that we would have 100% of $6,000. That would be there, all of it. That means 100%, all of it would be there at the end of the year, plus 5%. of six thousand dollars now that's the interest all right now putting this into maths we could say that if you've got a hundred percent of six thousand and five percent of six thousand that's a total of a hundred and five percent of six thousand dollars and that's the important part that you've got all of it that's a hundred percent plus five percent 105% of $6,000. And when we work this out, we would say this is 105 over 100, because that's your percentage, times by $6,000. And it looks like this, 1.05. If you put that in your calculator, that's what that becomes, times $6,000. And that equals $6,300. And there it is up there. Look at that. 100% is this one. 5% is this one. 105% multiplied by the principal gives you the balance very, very quickly. Now, if we repeat this each year, we could say that the balance... at the end of year two. Now using the same principle, it would be 100% of what was there at the end of the year, that's $6,300 now, plus the interest, 5%, of $6,300. All right, now using the same principle as we did up here, that would be 105% of 6,000, which is, oh, sorry, 6,300, which would be 105 over 100. And there's the number that we've got to look at, 1.05. So if I type here or write here 1.05, that's 105% of my $6,300. When you put that into your calculator, you actually get $6,615. And there it is up there. So we could actually simplify year two 
quite nicely by saying at the end of year two, or so, in this case at the end of year three, the balance at the end of year three, now let's think about what we've done, would be 105%, there it is there, 105 over 100, or 1.05% of the balance of the previous year. In this case, 6,615 dollars. And when we work that out, we get 6,000 nine hundred and forty five dollars and seventy five cents and there it is up there at the bottom of that sheet now I'll just move it down for you to have a look at there it is there sixty nine there six thousand nine hundred and forty five dollars and seventy five cents all right so what we've actually discovered here is a number that we're going to give a name to and it's called the multiplier there it is there, 1.05. We call that the constant multiplier. And the reason is that we're multiplying it each year to the balance that was there at the start to get the final balance at the end of each year. And that one is actually the value of our investment at the end of the year. So that's a very uh, important way to learn how to do this whole concept of compound interest quite quickly, working with that constant multiplier. In video lesson three, we're just gonna do one straight off with the constant multiplier. So we're just gonna have to work out what the constant multiplier is, apply it, and we'll be right. So let's have a look at that in a little while.